All right, so update number two has finally arrived after waiting all day long for this. And already, I'm sure you guys can see that a lot of things are different. Even if I just pan my camera around like this, or even if I just show you guys this close, the entire UI of the game has been completely changed. And honestly, it looks really, really good. And I'm kind of already spoiling things for myself because I see abilities. I see Freeze, Waypoint, and Infinity. So from what I'm understanding, Freeze is the only one that we can purchase with money. It is 2,000 coins to purchase it. I've gone ahead and grabbed it. Freeze the ball until it is parried or until five seconds pass. That's a pretty interesting one. And honestly, it could be really, really useful for people that like to play like me, which is like complete noobs uh, that just kind of stand around and don't really jump and challenge people. Then you got Waypoint and Infinity. These are apparently obtained in packs. So, okay, I see packs down here. Interesting. So we got basic pack and the skill pack. And then all the way over here at the end, we have purchase both packs three times to get these you're joking so 2999 robux times three that's uh 9000 robux let's just say and kind of round it off and then we got about 2400 over here so what like 11000 robux to get infinity what does it do manifest an aura that locks the ball in place if it hits you during the mode okay yeah that sounds like super op well, i guess today we're going to be spending 11000 robux to get our hands on this because i want it from what i'm understanding we gotta do just purchase six of the packs but i noticed that there's packs over here on the spin wheel and if you guys remember in my last video i told you that i've been saving up my spins so let's see if we can get some packs and make this a, a little bit cheaper for us here also my game was completely muted there first the spin and we got the effect bundle okay so technically speaking that should be what uh 800 robux or something like that out of the way yeah so 800 robux out of the way technically Yes, one out of six. All right, next roll. What are we going to get ourselves? So, I mean, to a certain extent, this is kind of interesting. Okay, and then the servers restart. If I'm not mistaken, I think they just kind of restarted all of the servers because before it was just inside of a private server. So, now it technically should be public for everyone. But let's keep doing our spins here. Now, obviously, keep in mind that uh, it's a 1.5% drop chance. That pack is 1.5% and this one is 4%. So getting this one three times is going to take quite some time. But I mean, at least technically you can get it for free. So far out of the 13 spins that we had, we've only been able to get one pack, which saved me 800 Robux. But I mean, come on, man. And to be honest, because we got that pack, technically we got a bunch of money because now I'm sitting at 36,000 coins. So I could just buy some more spins. I'm trying to make this as affordable as possible, man. Two more spins to go. Still absolutely nothing besides the one effect bundle that we got. If I can knock out 3,000 Robux from this, I will be so happy. <gasps> okay, come on, dude. All right, so I'm going to buy uh, a bunch of spins here. Just kidding. I'm only going to buy one because it has a cooldown of one day. Yo, and we made it count because we got ourselves an effect bundle from that one spin let's go so i had no idea that you can only buy one because i've never actually bought spins with coins at least not that i can remember of but anyways that means that we are now two out of six meaning i need to purchase three of these skill packs ay 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 this is gonna be expensive bro all right, well, first one down here, 3,000 Robux, and that has been purchased. I'm actually considering checking out the waypoint ability before we go ahead and purchase the other one. And honestly, I didn't even read this one. Place a sword marker on the ground. You can then reuse the ability to teleport to the sword marker. That is kind of insane we're gonna try that out and let's see man this time around i'm not gonna be so judgmental because there was a lot of new abilities like pool as well as the wind cloak that were actually really good and i said that i didn't really like them oh i forgot about this hey yo hold on let me grab this thing over here too that way we can check to see if it has a delay or not like last week's all right there we go so looks pretty sick kind of insane actually super bright also another interesting thing it looks like they removed info from up here so you can't really see what server you're in anymore now i want to place this down right here see what happens okay it does kind of have that uh that sort of delay how long does it last for does it just last until I teleport back to it? Now I'm kind of curious. Does everyone see that purple line? Uh oh, I messed up. Oh, 
<laughs> Wait, what just happened there, bro? I have no idea what just happened there, but I activated it and I instantly got flung out of the map. Also, if you guys noticed, it's saying that I can open up free crates. Uh, I think that's because I purchased the 3000 Robux pack. So it comes with 10 sword crates and 10 explosion crates. But then there's also an OP explosion crate. What is that? How do I open an OP explosion crate? I am honestly not sure, but let's see. We're going to try this out here again. So that guy just walked up to my sword. I'm assuming that they clearly see the sword and they clearly see that purple line too. Oh, that was quick. That was quick on his part, man. He wasted no time. And what's honestly kind of interesting is that I don't think you can use it again. And if you can, then the cooldown on this is absolutely insane because I kind of got a little distracted there when I noticed that the cooldown on it just wasn't moving at all. All right, so I just went ahead and used it again. Yeah, it's not like there's no cooldown for it. You can only use it, I guess, one time in your life or it just made the noise like if it was recharged, but it's still the same. I am so confused right now. Yeah, right now it's looking like you can only use this one time in your entire kind of like play session, I guess. Once you die, it does obviously reset, but that's kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know if I really do like that one. And honestly, I waited quite some time there and it didn't even pop out of cooldown. So I don't know if maybe that's a bug or if it isn't. I don't know. We'll figure it out eventually. Now let's go ahead and get back to our task at hand here. We're going to have to purchase another one of these, which man, this is probably the most amount of Robux I think I've spent. No, I'm lying. I bought infinite game pass on Petsim. That was a mistake. So yeah, we've purchased now two of the skill packs. We have one more left. So there it is right there, unfortunately. And now we're going to also purchase the remaining basic packs that we need. So there we go. And now we can go ahead and claim this. So let's see, Infinity Ability and the Shattered Sword have been claimed. There it is right there, man. Equip. And we're going to try this out this next game, dude. Let's check out the sword. Here it is right here, the Shattered Sword. Pretty sick looking, man. I like the color red, so this is definitely like sick to me. Then over here, we have the Molten Great Sword. And what is this? Essence Cleaver. I have no idea how I got that. Either way, man, let's check out the infinity ability. I don't even know when I should activate this. I'm a little confused on how it even works. All right, so I guess I'll activate it now beforehand, and I'm kind of glowing right now. Cooldown is kind of insane on it, and that's it. I guess it saved me. Is that what happened there? Wait, okay, hold on. That all happened so fast. The ability kind of saved me, I guess, at one point there. So I missed and then it just instantly sent it back. And then the sword, this skin, it has like less of a delay than the claws. I don't know if that makes any sense. Hold on. We're going to do that again. And this time I'm going to actually focus. Oh, look at this we got ourselves a brand new map it's like a snow map kind of cool sadly we will not be able to play there but let's put this infinity uh to get ourselves a nice little win <laughs> he really tried to hit me with that rapture but infinity saved me <laughs> honestly dude this ability has to be something for like when you're just doing i guess really really bad against somebody and you just really really want to win this is the perfect one or if you want to look for a justifiable reason then it's a good counter for pool the only catch is is that you have to spend about eleven thousand robux or at least a couple of days trying to get spins to be able to get your hands on it other than that it's you know it's there just get it all jokes aside though man it is a very op ability and i kind of completely understand why it's uh probably going to be super difficult to get your hands on it but i'm gonna be honest man this ability in the hands of the right player somebody that's insane at this game you could be looking at somebody that's just never gonna get losses again that's with it being in the right hands i kind of want to challenge this guy okay never mind 
Oh my god, I was trying to get a screenshot and this guy tried to challenge me midway. All right, we're popping it here and then we're going quick. And we're getting face to face right here. Let's go. There's just no way of losing. At the end in the standoff, infinity ability is by far the worst thing to ever go up against. I guess to counter it, you could maybe get away with like force field and then just survive as long as you can until infinity goes away and problem solved. I guess it's pretty safe to say that this thing is just really OP right now. <laughs> It's like, there's just nothing to compare it to, man. You are literally invincible. I can quite literally brute force my way right through the last three people. <laughs> Bro, I can quite literally stop the ball and choose my target. So right now, I could literally just go ahead and have a back and forth with him. Let the ball get super duper fast. Okay, or not. And I could have just completely frozen time, left the ball in front of me and thrown it at him at the last second without him even realizing when I was going to let go. This ability is just OP. Like it's it's literally no questions asked OP. Either way, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end off the video right there. I got some more stuff coming, so make sure that you guys subscribe. And thank you so much for 200,000 subscribers on the channel. I appreciate it so, so much. We're going to have a lot more videos coming with brand new insane ability that we got our hands on. Man, that's pretty much going to go ahead and do it for this video. Like always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.